Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie Ferguson and you are watching Southern Crush at Home. Listen, if you like my videos and these DIYs that I share with you each week, do me a favor and hit that subscription button as well as that all important notification bell so that you can be informed every single time there is a new video, my friend. This week I have some fun fall thrift finds for you that we are going to flip. Say that fast really three times. <laughs> fall flip flip. Anyway, uh, so this is one of them as well as these two pumpkin themed projects. We are going to make them over into something super cute and fall decor that you can decorate your home with. So listen, sit back, relax, watch the video. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. First up is this really pretty pumpkin tin. I picked this up at the Goodwill for $4 and some change and I uh, just removed the sticker there. Now I decided to give it a good cleaning with a baby wipe first just to kind of get all the extra off. I decided to leave that bottom sticker on there because I didn't think it was hurting anything. I took some um, little wooden bead knobs. They're little squares. They come off of actual, actually a game at the Dollar Tree that I picked up during Christmas. And I love using these as little feet for things like this project. And I just simply hot glued the little feet on uh, each four of the corners. Now, in future, I would have painted it first and then added the little feet. But you know, you never know till you're done. Hindsight's 2020, and I had already glued all of these on. It was not a problem. So I glued um, the four feet to each of the four corners, and I tried to avoid that little hole facing outwards. So I, tr oh yeah, that one jumped out of my hands. I don't really know what was going on, <laughs> but um, I got a hold of it and got it on the tin. Now, I'm using this Amy Howard Calcium Carbonate, and I'm going to link it below for you. This is just a really simple way to um, create chalk paint out of any paint that you have. So I just added a little bit of water, stirred it up, and then this is the consistency I have. Just showing you here that I'm taking any type of old craft acrylic paint and putting it into this little mixture that I made. And this um, calcium carbonate is going to turn your craft paint into chalk paint. Absolutely love this. Just stir it really, really well. And once it's stirred, it will look like that. I took a foam brush and covered my entire piece with the black chalk paint, including the little feet here. Now I did avoid those beautiful rustic looking pumpkins on the front. I didn't want to cover them with black and I wanted to preserve the look of that kind of foil um, copper look that I had going on there. So this is why I didn't care about the sticker on the bottom. I went ahead and covered it with a little bit of the chalk paint and uh, I was good to go. Now this did actually end up taking two coats of that paint. Um, I took an artist brush and kind of went really close up into the grooves here around the pumpkins, just again to preserve the little foil pumpkins, but I did want to make sure that I got good coverage of the black paint. Then I just filled it in so that it would blend well uh, with the rest of the paint on the front. Now, this is really, really uh, strangely satisfying to watch. So let's watch me finish filling in the blanks here on this little um, pumpkin. Now I decided to decoupage some Mackenzie Child's Buffalo Check, it's actually called Courtly Check, tissue paper to the sides of this little tin. Now I had some scrap pieces so I just went ahead and cut two at a time here and uh, reserved the rest. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, sizing it up to the project, seeing if it's going to for sure cover the area and it looks like it is. So I just took some Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree, added it to a foam brush and completely coated the sides of my y'all what do we want to call it like a bucket 
it was like a bucket, but it's it's a ten, like a a floral ten. I do end up using it as a floral ten. So I'm getting good coverage on here. You definitely don't want to be the Scrooge with your Mod Podge when it comes to decoupaging any type of tissue paper or napkins on your piece. Now, once I had this completely coated, I took the tissue paper and kind of just eyeballed it over the top there, being really careful uh, to avoid all the wrinkles. And I just spread it out starting in the middle using my fingers. There's a lot of techniques you can use for this, but I like to just use my fingers so I can feel if there's any wrinkles there. So once I had it pretty smoothed out, I decided to use this nail file to get a really good uh, edge on each of the corners. So you just use a nail file. It, it works really well. You can use sandpaper or a sanding block if you like, but for this particular project, since there was scalloped edges and such, the nail file was the perfect remedy. And I was able to just go around all of the sides here with it. And it made really a really nice clean finished piece here. Now, for those little sections that um, did not get enough Mod Podge after all, so I went back and kind of used a little bit on my foam brush to get those pieces nailed down right here, as well as the sides. I always wanna make sure we have a good coat of the Mod Podge on the sides of the container where we know it's gonna get the most wear and tear. Pretty cute, I repeated it on the other side. What do you think? I absolutely love that part of the project. So next thing I did was add a foam block from Dollar Tree to the center and added a lot of just scrap florals that I had in my stash. You guys know that I have a floral tree uh, that I love. Um, so that's where I store all of my florals, but this was fun to put together. I just grabbed some fall pieces. These are all pieces from Dollar Tree, except for that black eucalyptus. So, so far so good, but I decided to add this Gilder's Paste Wax in the color gold. You just take your finger and rub it on wherever you think it would look well. And I thought with the Mackenzie Child's theme, we could just do a little pop of the gold here and there, just to kind of bring out the accents of the uh, foiled pumpkins and I love it. I did end up adding a little bit around the actual pumpkins. I just kind of uh, blended it in all around the pumpkins so that it would give it a really fun hue. Do you see it there? It's really kind of hard to see, but I love how this turned out. I would love to hear your comments in the um, space below the video. And I'm really liking the pop of these orange fall flowers with the way that this tin turned out. The little feet are perfect. I just love this one, you guys. What a great way to start out our video. So the next piece is just this pumpkin. Again, I got it at the Goodwill. It was $4.94. And then I took the sticker off and I had a lot of that black paint left over. So I went ahead and used it on each of the, I'm calling them spines on this metal pumpkin votive holder and it was super easy to do just you know it's going to be unavoidable to get some on your fingers unless you're patient but i am super impatient crafter so i just wanted to get it get it covered get it done so once i had that part done i decoupaged the leaves with that same mckenzie child's tissue paper that we used on the previous project i just made sure of the angle that I wanted the tissue paper to go down on and then again I used that nail file to really get in the grooves and get this leaf decoupaged and I actually um, just got a little impatient and started just tearing some of it off because it was a pretty big scrap piece that I was using there but once I had all of it filed I went back and I mod podged it again just to make sure that all the little sections were covered. Now is the fun part. I added these crafter square beads. I took off round ones and square ones and hot glued them to the spines of this pumpkin. Now I have seen some really cute um, wood bead pumpkins over the years and I thought oh, this would be the perfect one to do this on. So I just went to town and added the beads, again alternating between the round and the square beads, and just put them on here. 
super easy and actually super fun and once you get going it goes pretty quickly. I made sure to avoid the very bottom of this piece. I just wanted it to be able to lay flat. And I decided ultimately to add that same gold Gilder's Paste Wax to these beads because I felt like the light of the natural color was a little too bright for the rest of this piece. So just dabbing on that little bit of gold really, really helped this pumpkin all come together. What do you think? I am loving the decoupage leaves with the wooden beads with the accents of gold on this. This is how it looks finished. There's my little votive in there. You can obviously light it. Never leave anything unattended, folks. That is just not a good idea. And so that is that one. Next is this uh, candle. So I went back to Dollar Tree several times this week and I ended up getting these little vanilla scented. They smell so good. Uh, little votives and we're just gonna doll them up real quick I just took another scrap piece of that Mackenzie Child's tissue I'm just gonna use my heat gun just to kind of hit it a couple times just to get it melted enough to have it adhere and again just be careful don't burn yourself but it was really easy guys I just trimmed the top of this once I had the sides all nailed down with the heat gun and then I trimmed it really tight towards the uh, base of the top of the candle then I hit it again with the heat gun around the top part and then I used my fingers just to kind of press it down into that melted wax and bada bing bada boom we have votives and these are personalized votives you can use them um, as gifts or on display like I am here with all three of the projects let me know in the comments below which one of these is your favorite <music> 